So how was the exercise yesterday? Hmm? The exercise uh, to reflect on the, the good qualities of people. Huh? Not so easy, not so easy. Uh, in the monastic order, uh, there are actually quite a few rules pertaining to interacting with one another. Yeah. Uh, because it's uh, for lay people, you all don't really interact that much with one another anyway. Uh, but for monastic, um, we we are part of a, a more closely knitted community. Uh, even though in the Buddha's time, they would uh, move from places to places, yeah. But uh, usually, when they when we are newly ordained, they would stay um, in uh, stay together with the preceptor. If the preceptor move, we we'll move with the preceptor, yeah. Uh, and also our Acharya, our mentor. So it's not uncommon that when a senior monk move, move to a, another place, the a whole group of that, uh, the, all the younger monks may move together. So it's important uh, for the, for the um, uh, community to be able to live in harmony with one another. So um, one of the things that we uh, we actually have is um, uh, so in the in the uh, monastic order, uh, if you find that there's there are a lot of rules, a lot more rules for the monastics than lay people. <laughs> And simply because the monastics, if they see something that is not right, or they think they have question mark, you know who they'll tell, who they'll go and look for? Uh, they will go straight to the Buddha. They will not talk to each other, talk to everybody. Yeah. In fact, more correctly, the first person they'll talk to is the person that they think as a question mark, <laughs> yeah. Like for example, there was a monk who, uh, who uh, what did he do? Uh, so he he went on arms round, and then he finished his lunch first. Then he go for a second round. <laughs> yeah. So then after that, he, uh, with the second round, he keep for the next few days. So for a few days, you don't have to go for Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> so the other monks, after a few days, hey, where is this guy? <laughs> so they didn't go and spread around, tell at the whole world, hey, then who don't know where he go, no? Huh? Every time disappear, no. He, 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 the monks don't do that. They go straight to him to look for him. Hey, what happened to you? <laughs> Uh, so that's one of the first distinction. If they think person X has something that is a bit off, they go straight to X. Talk to X directly. Not go there and accuse him immediately. Uh. <laughs> you see in the Vinaya, they don't go there and show me, hey, why are you like that? Uh? <laughs> they say, they speak very nicely. Uh, good sir, <laughs> yeah, friend, uh, so so. Then after that, uh, after verifying that what they ob observe is true, um, if they cannot find a conclusion, then they report to the Buddha. They don't spread around the whole community, tell the tell the auntie next door, <laughs> huh? go to another center, go there and tell them, hey, that one, look, look, look. no, they don't do that. Then after they tell the Buddha, then the Buddha will also call that person over. The Buddha don't just say, oh, how can it be like that? The Buddha say, ask the person X over, then determine, this was reported about you. Is this true? Yeah. So this is the second thing. The teacher will do that. 
yeah, cross examine and verify. And the third thing that happened is that person will just admit wrong. <laughs> the person will just say, yes, that is the case. <laughs> yeah. Of course, there are also cases where the person see to I I on. Yeah, but in many of the in the cases where there is a binaya rule that is set, then the person just admit. Wrong. So um, then the Buddha would um, decide on the matter. And once decided, he will call the community, then um, uh, set down a rule, if a rule is needed. Huh? So first thing, uh, talk to the person directly. Second thing, cannot settle, talk to the teacher. Third thing, teacher, summon the person. Fourth thing, uh, summon the person to cross-examine, to verify. The fourth thing, the person must just state what is what. Okay, then fifth thing is the teacher will set a, a ruling. Yeah, actually that's a sixth thing, you know. The first five things are all what you need to do. The number six thing is what you shouldn't be doing. <laughs> you know what is the thing you shouldn't be doing? Lie everybody, eye contact, don't do other things. Uh, this is the, the number one, one thing I always tell students. This is what I expect you all to do. Uh, if you all come for class and then do other things, that means you're not paying attention. That means you're not having respect for what is being taught. <laughs> uh, you can bow a thousand times, uh, that is not respect. Uh. Must pay attention. Yeah. Once you, after hearing, you must, when you're hearing, you must pay attention. And after paying attention, you must retain. Otherwise, uh, show show face only. <laughs> okay, so the number six thing is what <clears throat> after it has been set up already, yeah, by the teacher, nobody is to repeat it, repeat what happened to other people. Hmm. This is very interesting, uh, it's inside the dinner. Yeah. yeah, we are not to repeat what has already been set up to other people. That means if you do that, it's basically telling tales, isn't it? <laughs> It's basically like, like number one, um, you are not letting that person have a chance to redeem themselves. Yeah, you don't let that person have a chance to uh, make amends. Yeah, show of hands, how many of you have done stupid things before? All have, right? How many of you have done? How many of you have done stupid things that uh, uh, that you think uh, people should spread to tell the whole world? <laughs> I don't think anybody think about that way about themselves. Huh? So the next time before we open our mouth to go and tell other people, hey, you know uh, that who are like this, uh, that who are like that, uh, if you think that there's a person X, Y, Z got some problem, report to the teacher in that group. Maybe that, teach, that student is among our group. Maybe that student is in another group. If it's in, in group A, don't go and report to teacher in group B. Group B teacher don't know the, the situation here. Yeah. Uh, and a, a bit a bit cross cross group uh, you you should report to the same teacher in the same group let the teacher handle and if you hey but sifu what if the teacher don't handle right sometimes the teacher don't handle one no what the teacher handle me instead of handling the pencil <laughs> I tell you my teacher has a reputation. My teacher has in some male shouting love her. You know what he will do? Let's say two person quarrel, not happy. Then one of them can report to the teacher. That's what we do. We report to the teacher. Then you know what the teacher some, sometimes will do? The teacher oftentimes will, let's say A and B quarrel. Then A go and report to the teacher. Teacher will talk to A and try to counsel A. <laughs> so sometimes, sometimes they get fed up. You know, it's like, 
Walao eh, report to teacher, then teacher counsel me instead of counsel that person. The person I found my must counsel that person. Actually, it's not true that my teacher always just counsel the person who come to him. The first thing is he should counsel the, the person who come up because, because the key thing is the difference between us and the Buddha's time uh, is that in the Buddha's time, when they report to the Buddha, right, they are not angry about the situation. In, at least from what I see from Vinaya recorded, uh, they are just reporting what they saw. There's no emotions involved. That means they, 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 they are not agitated about it. So nothing to, to settle. Ma. But when my teachers see that the person who can't report, like, wow, full of emotions, like what do we see? <laughs> yeah, feel with so much unhappiness. Ah, uh, so duty of the teacher to help that student who has all this, uh, to help him uh, or her uh, overcome the unhappiness. So we may feel like maybe the, the teacher can, <clears throat> instead of helping us settle that person, settle us instead. <laughs> or maybe the teacher just listen, then after that, never do anything. <clears throat> then how do we feel? We may feel like, oh, teacher unfair. Uh, so now we have two problems. One, we're not happy with person, person X. Now we are unhappy with teacher also. <laughs> Uh, hey, but I tell you, maybe the teacher is unfair. Eh? How? Let's say uh, I, I'm a person who, when I handle things right, I always look at all the different possibilities as much as I can, uh, uh, as unbiased as I can. So I will also entertain the possibility that even the teacher is, um, is, is biased. How? If you genuinely think that the teacher is biased, then and pay respect to the teacher and then thank the teacher for the teachings and then take your leave. Leave. Go. Go somewhere else. Well, correct. Well, if you think the teacher is unfair, then you can no longer learn from this teacher. You are, you are, you are already tainted. You have, maybe, maybe the teacher is really unfair. And if you really think the teacher is unfair, you can no longer learn from this person. Then don't learn from this person. Don't stay there and eh, then complain. And then, eh, you know, person X, well. then you know, I tell the teacher, Teacher boots up like. <laughs> you know, this is not good. You know why? A show of hands, how many of you think that you have the untainted eye of the Dharma? <laughs> how many of you have seen the Dharma directly already? Penetrated into the Dharma, seen things as they are? How many of you? <laughs> Raise your hand. <laughs> how many of you are very clear of your of your mental states, mental concomitants? up to the past three days. <laughs> and how many times are we talking about things way before three days ago? <laughs> Not to mention three days. Most of us cannot even be clear of our own mental states for three hours. Three minutes, I'll give you three minutes. <laughs> Most of us are not even clear of their mental states, mental concomitants for the past three minutes. Still want to talk about other people's mental states. Did you notice many times we are inferring how people think? That's why you know, if you ask around the Siapusa, right? I, I always I always talk about how we can question each other's way of doing things, but don't go and question people's intent, don't go and question people's um, mindset. Yeah. That's why even when I school students, right? <laughs> when I tell students, I always tell them. I don't care what is your intention, <laughs> right? Some of you cannot be for people. Keep on trying to explain their intention. I say, I don't care what is your intention. I only care about that when you, if you keep doing this and then there's always this result, this is all, all that is relevant. <laughs> Why? Why do I say that? Because even Sifu, don't dare to say that I know what is your intent. I can only say that 
if you consistently do this, it's hard for people not to misinterpret your intent. Right? You're on the volunteers, this is what you often hear from civil right? Uh, but I always see volunteers always are so sure about each other's intent, you know. <laughs> Save yourself the trouble. Save yourself the trouble. If we come and volunteer, we should volunteer with a with a wholesome intent. And we, we always start off with this way. Don't let it end in a bad way. Yeah. Whether you are doing volunteer work or you're at work in the office, yeah. Don't don't let that corrupt your intention. Some people ask me, hey, Sifu, I'm sure you 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 experience uh, politicking in the past, right? And I, I, I tell them I tell people very honestly, actually I don't really experience much politicking. <laughs> yeah. Why? It's not that I'm not aware of politics, but I just don't don't let it interfere with my work. I just do what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Now I have to admit also, I was sometimes a jerk <laughs> at work. Yeah, I'm I'm actually quite quite a some some if you ever work with me, you know that it's stressful to work with me. And sometimes I I took pattern also. Yeah. Why? Because the <laughs> Yiwang uh, the this this idiom te yi wang xing, that means you have things your way, you things go your way, then wow, you, <laughs> you you think you can do anything. Yeah. When you are pretty good at your work, then your boss also cut you some slack, ma. Then you can bank table, <laughs> you can give people rubbish, ma. You can when people ask when you like, then you can say, I expect you to do this, what? Then your 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 for more information, stay back. I will tell you the story. Yeah, but the point is, whether it's at work, at home, as a volunteer, if you spend time, um, what do you call it? If you spend time, uh, keep on discussing with one another about people, huh? it's actually not good for you, not good for the community, not good for yourself. Yeah. They say, you know what they say about Zhu Ci? Zhu Ci is the abbot of a monastery. They say, those who are Zhu Ci, right? They have two, two, two results. One, Shen Tian, one, Xia Di. <laughs> you know why? Uh, because if you are Zhu Ci, your, your responsibility is very heavy. And you can do a lot of good. If you do it right, you have to do a lot of good. But if you just have a bit of that, Singer of that wrong antenna, he very heavy karma. And I will say the same for volunteers. You have a chance to actually benefit a lot of people because you're assisting in dharma propagation. But if you do it with a tinted um, mind, uh, very heavy karma. <laughs> Next thing you know, tomorrow, no, no more volunteers. <laughs> Uh, but uh, this is not to scare people off, uh, but this is to uh, once in a while must remind people, uh, must remind students. Yeah, because sometimes everybody thinks they are doing the right thing, you know, including telling each other, hey, that person, what? Because we think that, oh, we are doing people the favor, one people, ma. No. Listen carefully, uh, all those who are present, Sifu is telling you, no, don't do that. Don't in future when Sifu talk to you and then you say, oh, I thought I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm doing the right thing. I'm, I need to warn people. No, Sifu tell you that's not the right way to do it. Okay? Uh, I will give you all the <laughs> warning. Uh. <laughs> Don't let me know of such cases. Uh. Yeah. Because it's very toxic. Not very toxic. Xiaopusa, the... the this, this is a Buddhist group. Yeah, doesn't mean that we just close our eyes to anything that we see, but go through, go report to the teacher, whether it's in this group or other groups. Why is this important? If we do this, then we develop trust among each other. Then you feel safe to, to continue to volunteer. Yeah, 
otherwise <laughs> when you go to volunteer you're like hey today and those you must think no today this person can tell us about that person tomorrow can tell that person about us then there's no trust or no. you feel like hey, you know this person can trust them. how about that person <laughs> yeah all the volunteers you'll notice something always sifu always like okay call for a meeting everybody come in <laughs> trash it out trash it out not very pleasant but I prefer it to do it that way. There's nothing, you know, you want to talk about something, we open up to talk uh, and then settle it. You know? uh, I think it's, it's healthier. No, no, no question mark. Uh, no? Okay. Have a clear day ahead. I need to talk.